The Flexbox widget is incredibly versatile with countless options combining text, images, videos and buttons into a section of a responsive page. This video will show you how to use the widget and get the most out of it. In this example, I'm going to recreate the following section. The section has four columns, each headed by an image, then some text, and then a button. To start, drag and drop the Flexbox widget onto a responsive page in your website project. As the Flexbox is empty, we need to add objects into it. Start by clicking the Add button in the Embedded Options section of the widget settings. This creates a control which contains objects such as in our example, where we have an image, text, and a button. I'm going to name my control Music1, and then I press Enter to finish. You can rename a control at any time by double-clicking on its name in the Embedded Options list and entering a new name. As I want to include an image, I need to change the option type to Image. Now I'm going to scroll down to the Style Text Editor. This has some default text that I do not want to use, so I will delete it. I'll add my own text later on. Let's now add an image. Scroll down to the Image Settings section and click on the Choose button and select the image you want to use. The widget will update in the editor window. Now let's add a button. Scroll down to the Button Settings section and tick the Use Button checkbox. Enter the button text that you want in the field Button Text. Again, the widget updates. I can now change the button properties. For example, I'm going to change its background color and make the text black on mouse hover. In my example, I have also changed the font to a Google font called Special Elite using the button style fonts button. Use the link button to redirect your visitor to another page in your project file or to an external web address when clicking on the button. You can now see that the control is taking shape. Next, scroll up to the style text editor and enter in your own text. With the text still highlighted, use the style text editor tools to change the properties of the text as you wish. In the control alignment section above, I am going to change the horizontal alignment to center. This will force the widget to update on screen. I can adjust the width of the control using the default, minimum and maximum width settings. In this example, I am going to set the default at 250 pixels wide, the minimum at 150 and the maximum at 300 which will make this section display properly on mobile and desktop devices. I'm going to change the spacing between the controls to 10. Now that I have finished the control, I can use it as a template for the other three controls that I want to add. Scroll up to the Embedded Options section and click on the Duplicate button three times. You now have four controls, Music 1, 2, 3 and 4. Click on Music 2 and change the text in the Style Text Editor. Change the image by choosing a different image using the Choose button in the Image Settings section. Edit the button link as required. Repeat these steps by highlighting the Music 3 and Music 4 controls, and then making the changes you want. To move a control to a different place, drag and drop the control name to its new location in the list. To change the order in which the control wraps as the browser window changes, use the Wrap Objects drop-down, and change it to reverse order or not at all. You can set the whole alignment of the controls in the widget using the alignment drop-down. This alignment is overridden if you use the alignment options in the style text editor for a selected control. With the Flexbox widget complete, I now want to add a background color and some top and bottom padding to it. To do this, I will need to use a responsive row widget. Drag and drop the responsive row widget onto the page and add a background color fill using the shape options and a top and bottom padding of 20 using the widget settings. Next, click inside the Flexbox widget to select it. Secondary click and choose the Embed In option to place the Flexbox widget within the responsive row widget. When finished, preview the page and test it adjusting the browser width.